Hi, and welcome to my channel. So becoming a nurse, especially in a country like the UK, is one of the best opportunities that you can pursue in your life. Look, every single day in this country, there are thousands of overseas workers moving. There are thousands of carers who are working obviously in health and social care. And nursing has become one of the most sought after professions within these groups of people. And there is no doubt why that is the case. That's because nursing comes with 100% employability. It comes with the maximum level of flexibility. And it also is also due to the fact that you can work as self-employed if you are a nurse. In fact, I have friends that are earning about £8,000 to £10,000 per month as self-employed nurses in the UK. So there are lots of opportunities for you. And so in today's video, I'm going to talk about the requirements that you need or don't need to become a nurse in the UK. This is something that I get asked all the time. Melvis, I've got XYZ. Can I become a nurse in the UK? I haven't got XYZ. Does this kind of give me an obstacle from getting into nursing? So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I absolutely do appreciate your time. If you haven't joined this family, take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button below because you want to be the first person that is notified every single day when I drop a new video on here at 10 a.m. prompt UK time. Look, let me tell you, nursing is literally the only reason I moved to the UK you know, a few years ago when I sat down and I thought, look, I want to become a nurse. I thought, which country do I go? And I was like, what is the highest paying job in nursing? And I checked on Google, you know, Google is amazing. And it said advanced nurse practitioner. And I was like, okay, which countries have advanced nurse practitioners? And I was confused and thinking between the US of A and the UK. In the end, the UK did it for me for thousands of reasons. I mean, the US is just not for me. And let me tell you, I would not work in any other country except the UK, which means the day I stop working as a nurse in the UK is going to be the last day that I work as a nurse because that's a choice that I've made because I'm super focused and I don't want to waste my time. So, if you're watching this and you're somebody who is keen on getting into nursing, this is an invitation that I'm making directly to you and saying, this is the time. There's never been a better time than now, you know, to become a nurse, especially in a country like the UK. Loads of opportunities, you know, they are very short staffed. They need people. There's a lot of funding, which leads us to the first thing that we need to talk about, you know, money. That's one thing people worry about. You don't have to worry. And so... If you're not aware, by the way, I'm an advanced nurse practitioner myself. I started, obviously, as a carer. I then studied nursing as an international student. So I paid 30000 to become a nurse. After that, I've done a master's in a prestigious London university um, in mentorship in nursing. And I've done another master's in advanced clinical practice, which is the most senior clinical nursing job that there is in the profession. So that's what I do. I absolutely love my job as a nurse practitioner. I enjoy every bit of it. I like how much I'm paid, you know, very, very good pay. The pay is absolutely amazing. You can check it out online. You see how much nurse practitioners earn. So that's why I'm passionate about these opportunities. If you need to contact me, you can check the comment section below. You see my contact details. There's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address. And also, if you haven't joined my newsletter, check the comment section below. You see it is free to join. You drop your name and email and you're part of that newsletter. So that's why I'm very passionate about these opportunities. I like to share my own journey because it leads to the passion and the reason why I dedicate my time every single day to drop these videos on here on YouTube for you because visa sponsorship, career progression, earning more money, working less and retiring early, those are my objectives. And if you're here, you're obviously welcome. What are those requirements that you need or don't need? to become a nurse in the UK. The first thing that I'm gonna say is that age is just a number. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Have you wanted to become a nurse or are you a nurse? How long you know, has this passion been for? Because there are lots of people that are like, hey Melvis, I'm 50 now. I always wanted to become a nurse, but I couldn't because I got married, I had kids or I had a job or I couldn't afford to study. Look, gone are the days. If you want to become a nurse now and you're not, it's because you have chosen not to take that opportunity. If you're watching my videos, I share extensively detailed videos on here about nursing opportunities. So leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I will implement this. And also, what is your personal circumstance and your relationship with being a nurse or becoming a nurse? So the first thing I'm going to say is that 
The average age for a nursing student in the UK is in the 40s and 50s, which means majority of people studying nursing in the UK as we speak are in their 40s and 50s. So if you're sad, especially if you're still in Africa, for example, I mean, many people retire at 50. In the UK, 50, you're still like a baby. <laughs> you're still a baby. So don't be discouraged. I mean, that is the perfect time because most people get into nursing when they've already made their families. They're already in middle age. It's a second profession, even third for some people. Very few people like myself get into nursing, you know, early on in their journeys. So don't be discouraged and leave a comment in the comment section as the age is just a number and it really doesn't matter. Then the first thing is money. Look, you don't need money in order for you to become a nurse in the UK this time and age. So that's one of the requirements, or should we say non-requirements? Money is not. If you are keen to become a nurse, you can apply for apprenticeships. So with apprenticeships, you get paid to work and study at the same time. And I know I talk about this all the times on this channel because of how important it is. When I did my two master's programs, I did both as an as apprenticeships. So I didn't pay any tuition fees. And in fact, with my last master's, I was paid a lot of money to study, you know, and, and my employer paid my tuition fees as well. So these are things that I've gone through with my first master's, what I did as an apprenticeship. I was on visa sponsorship because I see people on here that are like, oh, Melvis, I'm on visa sponsorship. Is it public funds? Can I do this? Look. These are competency-based opportunities. Opportunities for career progression have nothing to do with visa sponsorship or public funds. It's about you being interested and that employer saying that you are capable and that you deserve that opportunity. So I didn't have that opportunity because I was British. Like I said, I had visa sponsorship at the time and I still got it in a very prestigious London university. Um, and so again, if I could get that, I'm sure you can. And by the way, if you're not aware, I do have a career coaching program where I offered, you know, guidance with applying for these opportunities, NHS jobs, getting into nursing, I also support student nurses. I've also got people that are looking for career progression opportunities in the UK. You know, if you're somebody who's keen on becoming a specialist nurse, you're keen on becoming an, an advanced nurse practitioner like myself, obviously, you're keen on becoming a nurse manager, or you're just looking for specialist nursing jobs, you know, research nurse, you're leaving bedside nursing, which is fine. I mean, if you're a nurse, it doesn't mean that you need to be working on a ward. I know lots of people that get into nursing and they're like, Melvis is just not for me. I want to get into public health. That's absolutely fine. This is the joy of nursing. That's the flexibility that this noble, amazing profession brings and it's an opportunity that you definitely need to get into. So if you want to find out more information about my private coaching program, what is in this for you, how I can support you, check the description box below or the about section of this channel or the description box, like I've said, and you're going to see all those details and then you can go through at your own time. But if you want to speak to me to find out what is in this for you, for your specific circumstances, then again, you can check the comment section below and you'll see my contact details and you can contact me directly at your earliest convenience and that's absolutely fine. So the next thing is that you don't need ALT or OET. For example, I'm a nurse in the UK. I've never written ALT and I've never written OET. Many people worry about, oh, if I want to apply to the university, I mean, do I need to have ALT? No, you don't. Like I say, I have never written ALT or OET in my lifetime. You know, but I work as a nurse in the UK and I also studied in the UK as an international student. So it is not a requirement. One thing also that I'm going to say, which again, majority of people are even most worried about when they are thinking of getting into nursing is that they don't have a science background. Again, the joy of becoming a nurse, this is something that is exclusive in the UK. Like I say, I've I mean, I studied nursing in this country. I'm not sure what happens in other countries. And to be honest with you, I don't even check it out because I've got no time to check out what's going on in other countries. And that's why my focus always is in the UK. You don't need a science background. You know, anybody can wake up and be like, oh my God, I'm going to become a nurse in the UK. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter whether you did chemistry, you did physics, you did English literature, you did geography, you know, you did physics. Look, no one cares in this country. What you need to become a nurse is empathy, is the will is the desire to support people who are vulnerable. That's all you need. That's the only thing they're looking out for in those interviews when you apply and you're going through 
talking about interviews i'm currently supporting um lots of people who are members of my coaching program going through their nursing interviews because as you know in the uk they have those late admissions so these are people that will be starting in september of 2024 but they actually applied late and so their interviews are currently going on at the moment um they did interviews the other day for sheffield university i was supporting four people that were going for that interview and it's been such a massive pleasure year in year out for me supporting these candidates that are going through this nursing um, university interviews and so i get very familiar with the processes what they're looking for the questions how to respond and all of that so it's very important that if you're keen to get into this sector get advice from people you know try to make sure that because you don't want to apply be unsuccessful apply be unsuccessful it can kind of get discouraging so make sure that you're seeking advice and guidance from the right people who know what this profession is about so again Obviously, I'm wishing all the best, you know, to all the people that still have their interviews coming up. Quite a few universities are having their interviews in the next few weeks. And so I'm hoping that all of you will be successful. And if you're somebody who's still considering nursing, that you kind of wake up and be like, oh, Mel, this is right. You know, this is the right time for you to get in. So again, when it comes to funding, you can get funded, you know, but if you've got money to pay, I mean, it's well worth it. When I studied, I paid £30,000 for the three years to become a nurse. At the time when I was studying, you know, um, nursing was free for home students, so they didn't pay any fees. But as an international student, I had to pay £10,000 um, per year. Best investment ever. The university where I studied currently, they've doubled the fee. So it's almost £20,000 now for the same course that I did for the three years. So again, Things change, but it's a good investment. And so there's no science background that is needed or expected. And, you know, it doesn't really matter. One good thing also that I'm going to say, by the way, if you know anybody who, um, this is more of just a conversational video and more of reassurance and saying, look, the things that you're worrying about, you don't need to worry. You know, it's about putting your application forth. If there's something they need from you, they'll always say to you, have you got this? Can you provide more of this? There's no need to just sit back you know, exclude yourself from opportunities by saying, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. No, put yourself forward because all the opportunities I've applied for in the UK, if I had not put myself forward, I would not have had them. If I was like, hey, I've only been qualified for three years or two years, I cannot become a manager, I would not have applied for a nurse manager position and be successful. If I was thinking, I've only got four years of experience, I would not have applied for a nurse practitioner job and been successful. I mean, so you need to really be unapologetic about your career goals for you to succeed in the UK. It's highly competitive, but this country, the best thing about the UK is that they are always looking for talent. They're looking for the best people. It doesn't matter whether you're black, you know, you're white, you need sponsorship or not. It's about talent. Do you know what you're talking about? Do you seem knowledgeable? That's what people care about. And this is the goodness of this country. That's why I personally like the UK, because they value people that have the brains to bring about change. As long as you know, you know, what they are looking for in each job, because it's not about being intelligent, it's about knowing what that particular sector needs and what they're looking for and what they expect from you. And sometimes that's the challenge. So if you are in enjoying this content and you're interested in seeing more from me, like I said, hit the subscribe button below because you want to be the first person that is notified every day when I drop a new video on here. One thing I'm also going to say, which is massive, and it's because you watched it till now, is that you don't need A-levels to work as a nurse or to apply to become a nurse in the UK. I think it's the only country that does this. If you've got experience in healthcare or you've got relevant experience, you can apply even without A-levels. That is something that is huge. I have personally supported many mature students who only have healthcare experience you know to apply for these nursing courses successfully in universities this is something that is huge a levels i don't know if you're overseas it's going to have the equivalent in your country which means you need gcse's that's all you need gcse's to become a nurse and so there are lots of different pathways for this if you're somebody who is like oh melvis you know how do i go about this then leave a comment in the comment section below or contact me if you want to talk about your specific circumstances because that one-to-one -one guidance is really what some people need that reassurance to say yes you're thinking towards the right direction what about this what if you do this what about this what about that that's really what it's about 
So again, these are the requirements or known requirements that you need to become a nurse in the UK. There are loads of different pathways. Each pathway has its own specifics, but in general, these are the things that we've spoken about. I've shared extensively detailed videos on this channel about each of these opportunities. And so it is worth exploring if this is something that you're considering. So again, you know, you're going to hear a lot in the media about nursing, but for an from an individual perspective, it comes with a lot of advantages. Flexibility, like I said, the ability to work agency, for example, earn more extra shift to do night, weekends, bank holidays, Monday to Friday, nine to five. Most jobs don't have that flexibility. That's why many of us get into nursing because it works brilliantly with childcare. If you don't want one thing, you can go to another if you haven't joined my newsletter, check the comment section below. It's free to join so that when new opportunities come up, I send them directly to your inbox. If you need to contact me again, check the comment section. You see my details on there. If you need that one-to-one -one guidance, then obviously you can check out the information about my private coaching program. I'll see you in this video right here.